Welcome to DIY Solar and Wind. If you want to make your own electricity, one solar panel at a time, click on the links down below. So, over the course of probably eight and a half years, I have 26 solar panels. They're not all connected. One's on display in the house for videos, indoor videos, what have you. But, um, I have the lowest electric bills imaginable. And here, I today at Gilmore's Car Museum before the trucks disappear. When you see this video, there will be completely a whole new line of antique vehicles in this room. And I have no clue as to why there's a car in here. <clears throat> this is the antique truck display. Over here we got a fire truck. Pretty beautiful stuff. So, I'm going to shoot this video because it's on the truck floor. This is a 1940. I got it back up. I want to see the whole beauty of the car. It's got good lighting here. 1940 Hudson. Utility business coupe. Oh, look at that. That slides out. That's why. That would make that like a truck then, huh? I could pick up back in. Oh my goodness. I never noticed that. Now you know why it's on display in the pickup area, huh? <laughs> now I know. 1940 Hudson. Utility business coupe. Factory price, $750. 96 horsepower. A new world lies ahead of you the, the day you change to Hudson. Not only was the particular coupe model rare, it was also different from the regular coupe because it had to be used either as a car or a truck. Mounted inside the vehicle's trunk was a steel box. I gotta get closer. Fitted on sliding rails similar to the pull out drawers of a toolbox. The steel box had a chain supported tailgate and handles were attached to the end of the box to slide it in and out. The ability to pull the box out is what made the utility, utility coupe capable of being used like a pickup truck. That's beautiful. Have a nice sunny day. We got people coming around, so I will cut this right now.